What's it like to have an Assan girlfriend in Thailand? Stick around and find out. Hey everybody, Rick with the Excite Channel. Here is my experience with having a Thai Isan woman as a girlfriend. First, let me give you a little bit of a short background on the Northeast region or Isan region of Thailand. It is the largest region bordered by the Mekong River, which is the border between Thailand and Laos. The majority of the population of the Isan region is ethically Lao, but distinguish themselves not only from the Lao of Laos, but also from the central Thai by calling themselves Kong Isan or Thai Isan in general. Isan region is home to about 21 million people as of 2010. So what are Isan women like as a girlfriend? The women in the Sakan Nakan region I have met have been far different from any woman I have either been married to or dated from the United States of America. Now let me clarify, I'm not talking about Pattaya Bar girls or women from the Bangkok area or southern Thailand. These areas, from what I am told, are a little different and more westernized in the way of thinking as compared to the northeast region of the country. I speak of my experience with what we back in the States would call a country girl of the northeast region. First and foremost, pleasantly, the village I have been does not know the word woke or feminism. The women are hard workers and not scared of hard work. Many work their family rice farms and some travel to work in construction jobs or skilled labor jobs in bigger surrounding cities and towns. My girlfriend is an educator and manages a small school in the village. She has a master's degree and holds a government job. Government jobs in Thailand are highly respected position and she's well respected on the cultural ladder. So what is she like to be around? She is what I would call an empath. By definition, an empath is a person highly attuned to the feelings and emotions of those around them. Empaths feel what another person is feeling at a really deep emotional level. She is always in touch with others' feelings. By that, I mean she is so extremely kind and loving that at first I thought it was an act. Boy, was I wrong. I tend to think this is possibly because of her strong Buddhist belief system along with growing up in one of the uh, poorer regions of Thailand. I've seen her become frustrated but never explode in anger like women in the USA tend to do. I've asked her about this and she said when she becomes angry she knows it is a negative and an ugly thing. That is the, that it's best to be quiet and let the ugliness go away. She also loves to look feminine. She will put on a pretty dress, fix her hair nice, and act like a woman used to act with dignity and politeness in the United States. She does not act masculine or try to look masculine. Does this mean she will not work hard? No, absolutely not. I watched her build a bamboo trellis, cut grass on her farm with a machete, and kill a chicken for our dinner. Yet she still looks beautiful and sexy, not only while doing this hard work, she'll dress up afterwards and knock your socks off when we go out to dinner. So positive point number one, she is hardworking, feminine, smart, and empathetic towards others. Does she believe in feminism? That's somewhat of a loaded question as compared to what I see in the United States, no. Absolutely not. Here's my opinion and experience with feminists from the United States. I'm not saying all Western women are like this or believe in this manner. I'm saying the hardcore feminist I have had experience with came off this way to me. They tended to convey a dislike for men and think they are trying to hold them back all the time. Many of these women believe they can do everything a man can do physically. Many are aggressive, sarcastic, and arrogant. They will claim they can do everything a man can do physically, and this is simply scientifically impossible. They tend to want equal treatment until at times to go to war, work in the sewer, or be outside in the elements keeping the infrastructure of society functional. They become aggressive if their belief system is questioned. They do not like to be looked at as pretty or feminine, just equal, even if it is not justified for the circumstances. Here is what I see my Assan girlfriend believes in. 
She believes that she works hard and should reap the benefits of such. She is educated and holds a prestigious position with the Thai government and respects that position. She expects to be paid the same as others with her education and skill level. She wants and is respected in general for her thoughts and input in her society by others. Women or men are physically different and men can do things physically that women cannot. She believes women and men are mentally different and women can do things that men cannot. Because of these differences, that is why men need women and women need men. She believes women are more likely to be empathetic towards children and people in general and that women are better homemakers than men. Women are more likely to become educated in certain fields of study. She also believes women do not react as quickly as men uh, and react as quickly and tend to think things through before reacting. Women are a calming factor for the family unit in her opinion. I did find it very interesting that while we were visiting a popular tourist beach in southern Thailand, we were sitting on the beach and she noticed, and I noticed she was watching a lot of Farang tourists. Farang simply being the way Thai people refer to white people from other countries. Before anybody gets their balls in an uproar and get upset, no, it's not meant to be a racist statement or a racist in any manner. I'll be doing a video covering this subject in the future. Anyway, I digress. Let's move on. Uh, off and on throughout the day, I noticed she kept watching these tourists or farangs, and I never said a word as I understand she thinks about things she questions before she talks about them. We were sitting by the pool that evening at a resort, and another farang family came walking by with a baby strapped to his chest. His overweight wife came walking behind him and sat down on a lounge chair. She had a baby bag, or he had the baby bag, baby, and was carrying towels for them all. He then put things down, walked over, and got his wife something to drink and brought it back to her. Then he took the child to the pool and began playing. She looked at me in kind of a disgusting way and said, why did these Farang men act like women and the women sit around doing nothing? I didn't really know how to respond in a way she'd understand since she's not really up to speed on Western feminist culture. How do you explain soy boys to an Asan girl? I simply said, a confused Western culture. She said she didn't understand why they did this, that it was wrong. All I could do was nod my head and be in agreement, and told her I would explain it later. Oh yeah, I also wanted to mention that Isan women respect older men. They do not look at them as used up like Western women do. They prefer an older man over a Chad. So positive point number two, she's not a Western feminist. She is a smart, educated lady that views things from a logical standpoint. She does not like soy boy culture. She does not like chads. She likes mature, stable, smart men. So does she like to have fun? If you want to party, she'll party. If you want to go on a walk, she'll go on a walk. Feeling romantic, she will set you on fire in a good way and not like the way in the USA where a woman will douse you with gasoline and set you on fire. She can drink Thai whiskey or beer and dance the night away with you. When I talk about possibly doing something or going somewhere, she will look at me and say, do you want to do that? If I say yes, she says, let's go, whether I meant at that moment or not. And the nice part about that is she is not doing it simply to please me. She wants to do it also and has a great time doing it. So positive point number three, she can party with the best of them and is always ready to have a good time. To summarize, my experiences with an Asan girlfriend have been nothing but positive and great. I've met many of her friends and they were all cut from the same mold. I've seen more positives than negatives in any and all of them. So if you're tired of Western culture and the hardcore feminist movement, guys, come to Thailand, specifically the north, northeastern region, Sakon Nakhon province area. Meet some nice, hardworking Asan women and see what you've been missing out on. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. I greatly appreciate it. This is Rick, signing off. See you soon.